Hi everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Jenna and show you a little bit of her details. Jenna is a silicone doll kit and the edition will be limited to 25 kits. This Jenna is the first prototype and I will paint one more and since I don't do customs anymore because I'm so busy I'm not going to be painting any more of these kits, just the two prototypes. This Jenna, which is the prototype one, and an ethnic Jenna, which is going to be prototype two. This Jenna is poured in Ecoflex 20. The only one that is poured in Ecoflex 20, although the edition will be poured in Ecoflex 30. So she's the only one with her silicone just a bit softer than the other dolls or kits that are going to be in the edition. So let's start looking at her details. This is Jenna. Let me take off her hat so you can see her more clearly. I know she has hat hair but I'll try to fix that. Um, her hair is directionally rooted and she has little curls on the top. You can see she has the little crown right here and the little curls around it. Her hair is mostly sparsely rooted but she does have some curls on the sides and on the top. So I think it suits her just nice. She has rooted eyelashes and her eyebrows are painted. Um, I don't root the eyebrows because when you root them sometimes they move and they look a little bit unruly so I try to paint the eyebrows. Let me get a little closer so you can see her better. When you, If you do get a kit, the kit will come with the eyes already in set in the doll and I usually do the eyes in blue or brown. This Jenna has blue eyes. I don't know if you can see the color but um, hopefully you'll be able to see it. She also has a fully detailed mouth. She has gums, a tongue and a uvula. So I don't know if you can see let me pull on her chin. And can you see all the details in there? All the way to the back. So she can take a newborn pacifier. I usually just pull on the chin to put it in. I get a lot of questions about, you know, the best way to put the pacifier in her mouth. I do not put anything on the pacifier or in her mouth. I just pull on the chin a little bit and put the pacifier in. Um, you don't have to worry about the painting. If the paint is done properly, it will adhere to the doll permanently. You don't have to worry about pulling on the chin. Well, I can only speak for my dolls though. I'll say that because, you know, people wouldn't have concerns if there was nothing to be concerned about with some other dolls, but with mine the paint stays. Okay, um, I'm gonna take out the pacifier because I think her mouth is so cute. Um, let's talk about Jenna. Her, some more, her head circumference is 15 inches and um, she's a bigger doll than I usually make. She, um, she's 23 inches long. She sculpted to be a 23 inch baby but her legs are bent so if you measure her with the legs bent you're not going to get 23 inches but you know when they straighten out she's significantly longer. That's you know she sculpted to be a 23 inch baby girl. The outfit she's wearing here is a three month outfit so um she can't fit into newborn. It just does not fit. <laughs> She's a chunky little girl. Okay. Um, 
this is one of the outfits that will come with her and of course she has the hat to match this is a Wilbeth outfit and it comes with the dress the bloomers you know and the socks and the shoes will be included let me remove her shoes and socks so you can see her feet okay if you look at her fingers let me get a little closer and we look at her fingers and her toes to see how how they're painted as you can see she's not painted very um She's not painted very mottled. She's an older baby, so she's not as mottled as some of the younger ones. And her fingers are neatly manicured. And they're, all her fingers are separate. This hand can hold, is made to hold things so she can here she can hold her pacifier. Come on, baby, hold your pacifier so they can see. Okay. Um, I'll show you her feet. Her toes are separate also. She has cute little feet. You can see her, her veining, her veining, the veins are there but they're not overstated so they stand out too much. And here you can see her toes are separated also. Okay, um, she's a cloth body baby. As you can see here, she does have a cloth body. The cloth body comes with the kit and the, um, the eyes also come set. And um, she'll also come with a tummy plate. This is her tummy plate. I'll take pictures of her with the tummy plate because I only use them for pictures. I don't dress the doll with the tummy plate usually and um I'll see if I can put some of the pictures at the end of the video uh, what else can I tell you about Jenna oh yes I was saying that she comes with the cloth body um, so when you order the kit you'll get the cloth body the silicone head the limbs and the belly plate and the eyes will be set for you you'll have a choice of blue or brown see she's very she's very soft but she doesn't flop in the middle of her leg you know like unrealistically and um, this baby is going to be auctioned on eBay and I'll post the link below there will be 25 kits in the edition all awake kits no sleep kits and um, They'll be poured in Ecoflex 30. This is the only doll that's going to be Ecoflex 20. All the others are going to be Ecoflex 30. And um, I can't think of anything else. I think I've covered everything. But I think she's a pretty baby. And I would love to have her in my collection, but. I said I would let her go on auction, so I guess she'll be somebody else's doll. But she's a very cute baby. Very cute. I usually do newborn dolls. This one baby is not newborn, so she got to grow into her, her cuteness.
Don't be too shy, Jenna. She doesn't like to look at the camera because she's very shy. She can suck her thumb. And she'll come with all you saw here in the video. And two more, or two or three more outfits also. Okay, so that's Jenna. And I hope you enjoyed meeting her. Bye-bye.